Hello, I am Amanda fucking Palmer, here speaking with CMJ, excitedly, on a Brooklyn sidewalk. This album would have been a big crowdfunding success even if it hadn't made a million bucks because things are going in this direction and I've been, you know, I've been trying to convince people for years that this actually can work, especially if you're giving your music away. People will still support you. And this is the thing that I think the music industry hasn't grasped. Why can't you just trust people? That they like supporting art and they like supporting their artists. And as, as a street performer, having been on the street for six years, basically giving myself away for free and watching people contribute at different levels, it makes total sense to me. As far as the music industry goes, I feel like this is actually the most significant part of my Kickstarter. I don't think anybody just plonked down five grand and said, I'm rich enough, come play in my house. What happened is in all these different cities, fans banded together, created Facebook pages, and all threw money into a common pot until they could get it up to five grand and then they bought a package. If you want to make art, instead of have a normal job, chances are you gotta fucking figure out a way to do it that's relatively creative because there is not a simple way of doing it. You know, not all musicians out there wanna run a label. Not all musicians out there wanna spend their entire day twittering and on Facebook and looking at packaging and figuring out how to run a clever Kickstarter campaign. Instead of the evil of dealing with labels and loss of control, you're just trading off for a different evil, which is you have to sit at a desk for a while, and if you're going to do it yourself, you have to actually do it yourself. You know what's amazing about Roadrunner, and I haven't been talking about it in any of my giant press interviews, is they're gone. The week I launched my Kickstarter, Roadrunner closed down 80% of their offices. They collapsed. And the timing could not have been more poetic. The thing is, is I, I don't want to villainize my old record label. There's still this other part where I appreciate them and I appreciate what they did because they helped me build part of what's happening. They were also a pain in my ass and they, you know, they were also very hard to work with at times, but to not give them any credit would just be stupid. So I was hanging out with my best friend um, back in my hometown and he's sort of like my best friend combo mentor spiritual guide he's in his 60s and he, he helped raise me and he is not internet savvy we were having lunch at the moment my Kickstarter hit a million and I was sort of apologizing to him because we were sitting there we had this lunch date and I was like I'm really sorry and I explained the whole Kickstarter story to him and why it's significant and all the fans gathering together. He decided that it would be more significant if he texted me. <laughs> so he took out his phone instead of saying it to me and he texted it to me and he looked at me and I picked up my phone and he said, if you love people enough, they'll give you everything. And if I had to say anything to a musician or an artist out there, it's when you fundam fundamentally understand that. If you truly love and take care of your fans, they will carry you anywhere. Maybe.